So people on social media, they're thinking that Cardi B was out here shading Megan Thee Stallion. So you guys know Megan Thee Stallion just released her album called Megan. And Cardi B basically said a lot of albums that get released in the summertime do not do well. So some people felt like she was out here shading Megan Thee Stallion. So a Twitter user tweeted and said, The album is definitely not coming in summer. An album in autumn slash winter will have much less chances of getting viral hits and will earn much less streams and sales. Six plus years of waiting is worth at least a good release date. Cardi B responded and said, please tell me which album been doing good this summer. Since you got your degree and act like you know every effing thing. So then this user said, Ed, I am Cardi B. You're weird and shady as F. Cardi B responded and said, shady what B? It's the effing truth. Albums are not performing as good in the summer as the ones dropping in other seasons. The music traffic is insane. There's thousands of songs releasing and you can barely get placement for more than two weeks because of so many dropping at the same time. It's statistics unbeatable in your wrist and think with your brain not everything is messy and shady weird behind so the same user said cardi b it's about your music sis most of your songs are jams that people would love to turn up and enjoy during the summer as your top three biggest songs gly i like it and wap are all summer songs among others still just want the best for you even if you release during christmas Cardi B responds, I like it came out in April, Up came out in January, Money came out mid-October, Finesses came out in January, what the F are you talking about? Making um, making me a seasonal artist when I make hits all year long is crazy. You want to sound so right, all your predictions been wrong all year, yeah here you are clocking an album you don't know ish about. So this same user tweeted and said, Cardi B, end of the story, I love you and wish you the best. And I hope I always get proven wrong, that's a win for me because it's a win for you. I feel like people tend to be misunderstanding my points, so I'm not taking it further. But I got upset about you with my predictions, not gonna lie. Cardi B responded and said, no B, nobody misunderstand how you try to downplay every step I make on purpose, just like I shut your little Cheeto puff fingers down when I went top 10 and you was predicting top 40, you big muncher. So this same person said, that's how predictions work. I guess you're talking about tomorrow too. Are enough predictions change midweek, Cardi? That's not only me. Every person of on talk of the charts had the same expectations and they went higher due to stability and increased stream. Well, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Do you guys feel like she was being shady towards Megan Thee Stallion or do you guys feel like she was speaking the truth? Let me know down in the comment section below. So the same T page, T with Tia, that posted all of this, they posted Cardi B Twitter spaces, right? And she said, no, I'm not pregnant. But she spelled pregnant wrong. So I guess whenever she do announce that she's pregnant, she's gonna be like, no, I spelled it wrong. See, I got you. But we've been hearing a rumor about Cardi B being pregnant for like the last two months. We've seen her baby bump. Like when she was performing at the BET Awards, she was holding her stomach. For 4th of July, she was outside and people was taking videos and pictures of her baby bump. So we know she's pregnant. We know she's just waiting for the right time to, you know, announce that she's pregnant. But anyways, Cardi B was on tour spaces and she was clicking on Barty Gang and said that she might push her album back seven years. Who knows? But you guys go ahead and take a listen. But make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Then you guys go ahead and take a listen. Oh, my eyes burning a little bit. Eyes burning a little bit. It's the thing. Before y'all start talking shit, I am busy. I'm getting glam done right now. That's why I'm in a chair responding because I'm literally in a chair replying back to you motherfuckers. I ain't got shit to do. Only thing I can do is move my fucking fingers. Anyways, the reason why I'm coming at this page, first of all, let me let me remind you to the people that don't go here. That page is not a prediction page. That page is a salty Barty gang. I block a couple of times and I unblock it because every single time they go and ask a bigger Barty gang page to, oh, unblock me. They do a little nice compliment and then they go back to shading me. And the reason why I got upset about that page is, right? Let me tell you why. Because in real life, in real life, right? Like on your regular life, you don't want somebody that always sh shutting your shit down. When you're about to do something, when you're planning something, when you got something in your mind that you want to accomplish and you want to do, you don't want to fucking, you don't want nobody behind your, in, in, in your ear trying to tell you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You want to know why? Because then you're never going to want to get it done. The summer is almost done. 
I'm not going to give my fans two weeks for pre-orders. I'm not giving my fans two weeks of pre-orders. I'm not, I'm not giving my, my fans every, every, like I told my, I told my label and like I told the people that's waiting for me, when I drop my album, everything better be fucking right. From the merch to the other things that's coming out, everything that's coming out, it better be right that same day. You're not going to tell me that all my planning, all my marketing that I've been doing, all of my fucking calls that I've been doing, all of my meetings that I've been doing, you're not going to fucking tell me that it's not going to be successful because it's not, a, it's not going to come out in the summer. First of all, and you're not going to also tell me that I'm a fucking summer artist. Bitch, I've never been a seasonal artist. Bitch, I make hits all year round. What are you talking about? There's, there is such a thing as some people are seasonal artists. Some people just make music better seasons. Bitch, and I'm not one of them. So what the fuck are you talking about? I didn't even release. If you think about it, I didn't even release my first album in the summertime. It was April 6th, bitch. You still wear coats. You still wearing coats in motherfucking New York in April 6th. So shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Mind you, you're the same page that said not to drop in the summer. Because all these other artists, blah, 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 with the Grammys, whatever. And this is the shit that I don't be liking. I don't like when people be trying to shut you down when you're trying to accomplish something. That's not the type of people that you want in a fan base. And that's not the type of person that you want in real fucking life. That just shut everything that you do down. Okay, so you know what? Maybe I should go with what you say. I'm going to just drop next summer. How about that? <laughs> because you said so. Because you said so, I'm going to drop next summer in June 2025. That's better for you? That's better for you? That's why we're going off. Or is somebody pissing on your fucking plans? Like, you understand? Like, somebody always pissing on, pissing on your plans, pissing on your shit, pissing on your dreams. Shit is annoying. And then they be like, oh yeah, I wasn't trying to be shady. Yes, you was. You've been shady for a year and a half. You've been shady me for a year and a fucking half. I don't see you talking shit about other, uh, other artists. Only me. And you be dead ass fucking wrong. Dead wrong. So what are you talking about? Because you a scorn bitch. You fucking scorn and you tight. Because if I was delusional, then I'm delusional. But why are other party getting clocking it? Other party game members is clocking it. Because they know what the fuck you, you, what type of time you are. Matter of fact, why would you even say that today? Why you said that today? You know I said something about, you. if you know, if you know that I literally said, today's a very important day. It's going to make or break my album. Here you go talking about, yeah, well, it doesn't even really matter if it make or break it. It's not going to do good if you don't really just say in the summertime. What type of shit is that? Somebody, you know what, that's somebody that's wishing bad on you. If you're wishing bad before wishing good on somebody, any project, anything that I go going on, you're a fucking hater. And it's not even about being realistic. You're not being realistic because you want to talk about stat statistics. Only two records that I drop in the summertime. I don't even drop much in the summertime, if you think about it. If you fucking think about it. Just talking shit. Oh, uh, yeah, because you do upbeat, up-tempo music. You don't even know how my album sound like. You don't even know what it's giving for you to say that. My song could be talking, probably all my songs might be me talking about my nigga. How would you know what I'm fucking doing? You don't even know. But do you really know? You don't fucking know, so shut the fuck up. Nothing is worse than somebody shitting on what you got going on. Before you before they even know what you got going on. You don't even know you don't even know my plans. You don't know my marketing. 
You don't know what I got in store for my fans. You don't know nothing. It's straight up. Yeah, it's going to perform bad because she's not releasing it in July or in August. My, <coughs> mind you, if anybody works in a record label, <coughs> if anybody works, damn, America, you put a lot of powder through my mouth. <coughs> Choking. <laughs> if anybody works in a record label, everybody told you, do not release in August. In August, inter, inter, what was it? What did they say? International is closed. International is closed. You will not even get the, huh? You don't get what? Yeah, something about vacation. You don't get placements, blah, blah, and all this. So you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about because you don't even work in a fucking label. And I'm an international artist. Twenty twenty five do I even sound like a real year? No, it's not a real year because my album is not gonna release in twenty twenty five. It's gonna be released in twenty twenty four. Like I said. The fuck? I said 2024, but according according to the prediction page, I should drop 2025 in the summertime. Shut the fuck up. Piss me off. Then it was mad random too. It was mad random because why is it when I was talking good about the album and talking about today is a very exciting day about the album, you want to shit on, on my album? You want to shit on it? The fuck? He's a fucking hater. A fucking loser that likes to put fucking people down. The fuck? I, I can't go I can't go with people like that. Because when you go with people like that, you will never accomplish nothing. Exactly. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 